Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Moohoo from Terrapin Brewing in Georgia. Well, 6.1% alcohol introduced at some point in history. They don't say on the website. Um, bought it at Stein's Deli. Olive and Sinclair Chocolate Company Cocoa Nibs. Lactose milk sugar. Um, it says good before February 13, 2015. Put the date, guys, and they did it. Seasonal, seasonal, yeah. Se seasonal sessions, 30 international bitterness units. They use two row flaked oats, crystal 85, chocolate, DH Carafa 3, and roasted barley malts. The hops are Willamette and Nugget. Gets a very good score on Beer Advocate, which would be like a B. The bros say very good. A 97 out of 100 on rate beer, a 97 out of 100 for the style. I've never had it before, so let's check it out. Could it be as good as the Samuel Smith's organic chocolate stout? Seems hard to believe that any one of those beers could be as you know good as that is that one. See my little stag collection? Alright. I bought that in 1996. No, that one in 96, 97. It went to white for a while, I think 98 and then 2012. Okay, when I'm traveling in Missouri, who, the home of Tom the Beer Whisperer, and who I've never gone to see yet, and he's probably thinking, I'm never going to. So I have to travel everywhere, but I'm going to try to do it to Springfield. Okay, but anyway, I've been to Springfield before on old route, U.S. Route 66. Well, maybe I have it too cold, you know, but uh, it smells a little chocolatey, chocolatey, a little powdery, milky-like thing. Heavily roasted, not much head, dark, dark brown, like you would expect. Let's go with the flavor. 6.1, that's a touch above. Guinness Extra Stout, which is 6%. Ah, oh, chocolate tea. This is very chocolatey. Coffee. Dark roasted barley malt. Milk. There's probably hot bitterness, but it's not so noticeable because of the overwhelming sweetness. They have to balance it out, right? So, um, <clears throat> you're not going to pick up on too much bitterness. The mouthfeel is medium, light to medium really, it's not a heavy beer, and the finish is easy going, sort of dry, and um, dessert like, okay, so if you like beer with chocolate in it, and coffee, hmm. see you don't stand a paperback book up, because it won't, that was my daughter's present to me for Christmas. She knows I love history and geography. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to fall. But if you like all those elements, you'll like this. Don't be scared of it. It's not too harsh. It's not too strong. Really, 6%. That's pretty mild these days. So, let's see. They're saying, like, world-class on rape beer, and they're just saying very good on Beer Advocate. like that underlying roastiness. I'm going to cut down the middle and say A-. minus. I think it's excellent at the lower end. Terrapin beers generally tend to be that way. They're sort of like a Beta and Southern Tier and New Belgium and um, um, I'm trying to think what other craft breweries. Maybe uh, Boulevard. Uh, They're just, like, they're not exceptional craft breweries. They're all good, but they're not up to that dogfish head or uh, that kind of level, right? Shiner would be another good example. Covington Brewery.
brew house in Louisiana. Nola. I haven't tried Saranac, but you know you you get that you get the. Well, I don't want to get into all the ph ph philosophical, but there's some like extraordinary, which I would call extraordinary craft brewers like oh, and Boston Brewing would be in this range. The extraordinary ones like Dogfish Head, and um. I was just about to say it. I got, out, got out of my head. Maybe. What's that? Great Lakes. And um, Samuel Smith's are just more higher level. I, I would say Fuller's even would be at that higher level. But it's all opinions. It's no big tra tragedy if you don't agree with me. So, Les Les Bon Relay. An excellent to an extent beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to. Louisiana. Nice, nice.